Welcome to day six, nail art. The bootcamp box comes with our two custom nail art tools. It has a dotting tool and a striper brush. Dotting tool has a larger and a smaller dotter. And we also have a striping brush with a shorter and a longer brush. We like to use these to create everything from flowers to hearts to French manicures. You can create cool geometric patterns. Whatever you can dream up, you can create as art on your nails. So when we're doing nail art, I always like to grab a piece of scratch paper, it can be anything. Um, I use these as grocery lists after and they're always like fun and creative and have art on them. This is a great way to create a little palette for yourself, keep everything nice and neat. So we're gonna start with the brush. So I'm gonna teach you how to create a French tip with the striper brush. I'm gonna be using JM. And I use just a little bit of JM on this palette here. This makes it so that I can keep my polish nice and tightly closed and not expose this to air while I'm doing the art. I'm gonna use the longer side of the brush and I'm going to just gently dip it in the polish. You can always do a couple practice strokes here just to get a sense of how the brush works. But I just dip the brush in the little paint palette and then I'm going to just start to sketch out the French tip. And you can make this French look like however you want it to. You can do a traditional kind of like 90s thicker French manicure. You can also create a more modern, super narrow French. And when it comes to color combinations of French manicure, of course, pink and white is always traditional, but I love to play with bold kind of contrasting colors or a more tonal look like this, pink on pink. You can also use the striper brush just to create simple lines, which is always a fun little accent. Love it. Okay, next I'm gonna teach you how to use the dotting tool. I love to use the dotting tool to create a polka dot look. Simply dip in the polish and then dot on your nails. If you're feeling nervous, you can again just test it and see how the payoff goes. And once you've gotten good at doing dots, you can create a heart. So dip in the paint palette again and do two dots, kind of next to each other like that. And then you can come back to your striper brush, dip it back in the palette and create a little V shape. connect the two dots. And then once you've done that, just fill it in. And then you've got the sweetest little tiny heart. You can also use the dotting tool to create a little flower. So do dots and if you find that your paint is starting to dry up getting a little bit thick this is why we like to use a palette just create another little blob and redip So once you've got your outside petals done, grab a different color. We use this for the center. Of 
clean off the daughter. Redip, and then grate the little center of the flower there. And there you have it, super easy nail art. Don't forget, if you've done nail art, you always want to seal it with top coat, especially sometimes your designs can kind of be a little bit 3D, so applying a thin coat of top coat will seal and smooth everything over and make sure that you don't lose that beautiful design. That is it, nail art day six. You did it, we are so proud of you. Tomorrow's day seven, we'll see you there.